Hello, everybody, and welcome to our WrestleMania edition of Regrets! Today, we're going to make our predictions, and uh, WrestleMania is just around the corner, two days from now, March 29th, 2015, WrestleMania 31. And anyone want to have some thoughts here Should be of the build-up? Well, the build-up, the yeah, hype behind it. Sucks. The bunny. The bunny is going to be in it. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> Adam Rose. Bunny mania. The Easter bunny? Yeah, they're it perfect is, It for is pretty Easter. close to Easter. So, yeah, <laughs> East, Easter bunny is going to have a surprise match. Right? <laughs> no, Easter bunny is going to be in the Battle Royal. And he's going to win. He's going to be the Andre the Giant bunny. <laughs> I'm But no, the hype, the hype. I want to put a pass down. <laughs> yeah, no, we, we just booked it right there. But no, serious, this, this hype sucks. Like, outside of the Intercontinental title match, everything, like, they've done a terrible job hyping this. I'm not, unlike previous WrestleManias, I'm not, like, super stoked for this. I think they could have done a lot better of a job for it. Seriously? This past draw... The ending was the best ever. Oh my god. Robert Reigns, Brad Lesnar, Tug of War? I How love, more excited could that get? I love Tug of War. I that love so watching awesome. two wrestlers Tug of War a belt. Wow, that's so creative. I that was know. the most creative I ever seen in that WWE. Must at least, that must have took them at least like five rewrites. What to kind get of that. thank you letter to the creative team? I know. But I, by having that, Brock Lesnar or Roman Reigns couldn't talk. It was genius. They were god. speechless. Yeah, yeah, so are we watching that crap. In all seriousness, it sucked. But we hope WrestleMania is better. <laughs> Hopefully. So let's get right to it. The first match is going to be... Here, I'll give you the honor of telling us the first match. <laughs> <laughs> so, whoops. The first match is WrestleMania kickoff with the Fatal 4-Way for the tag team titles. The Usos! Lost Menadors. Cesaro, Tyson Kidd, and... That's you, it. No, the, those new, guys. New Day. The New Day. No, oh, yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully they'll right be... In front of hopefully they'll be all day soon. They all, they all look alike. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> wah, wah. Um, yeah. New Day sucks. <laughs> Lols. The Usos, they're very talented. I've been saying this for months now. They're very talented, but they're boring, in my opinion. Cesaro and Tyson Kidd, they're very talented, but they're boring, in my opinion. And Los Matadores, they're alright, but they're boring, in my opinion. Look, <laughs> these guys are so down on these tag teams. Like, Can we lift them up a little bit? <laughs> the Ascension will rise. You know, Let's go like, Ascension. You know Push the Ascension. Who are we? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no, the Ascension oh. had a good... Hype behind them, yeah, but then when they too. finally end her in WWE, they suck. The Ascension, they're the most exciting tag team. Oh I don't, God. I don't get why they're not in this match. They should be in this match. Really? Yeah. I, I think El Torito is more exciting than the. Oh, okay, I'll give that Luis Matadores a little credit. El Torito is a little bit exciting. I think, I think we have a high bar from growing up watching the era of tag team that we did, but they're so good. And you know what? These tag teams in this actual match, I mean... They Cesar tried very hard. The Cesaro and Kid team is by far my favorite, and I'm super excited that they're tag team champions over some of the stuff we've been getting lately. And we already know the Usos can prove themselves in the ring. They're just fine. The Matadors, yeah, they're not really too relevant. They're just kind of thrown in there. But they can handle themselves. I mean, come on. They're from the Cologne family. I think they can handle themselves. That's true. And That's true. Who else? We, uh, okay. New Day. New Day. It depends New what Day. people from New Day are in this match. If Kofi's in there, we're good. But Biggie's kind of fallen off a little bit, although he can be impressive sometimes. He's kind of fallen off. And I never really got behind Xavier Woods. I don't think it's Wood's fault, but they never really had a character for him that I really gravitated towards. So I hope Kofi is the member that's in this tag match, or else I'm not really going to care for New Day at this point. I don't any anyways, but out of anyone on that group, I like Kofi just because I think he's the best one out of them. I'd rather see the primetime players in the match. Yeah, that'd be no, pretty that'd interesting. Be nice. Darren would... Young's repackaging is pretty interesting. Yeah, and he looks just, great. And just to bring them back is really good. Hopefully, 
it wasn't just like a tease moment and they're actually legit back, but we haven't really seen much of them as far as I know. So um, I guess who do you drop if you bring in primetime players? I'd probably drop the Matadors or uh, New Day. Yeah. Would be my thing. They're they're all super talented. It's just that I wish they had different gimmicks or a gimmick because I really like Tyson Kidd and Cesaro a lot. They're awesome, but they have no gimmick. Well, How can a crowd get into that if they have no gimmick? But their gimmick is that they don't have a gimmick. It's that they're the pure. Whoa, wrestlers. that they're, totally blows my mind. <laughs> they're the pure wrestlers. It's like when CM Punk was either just like a regular face or a regular heel. He, he he's himself, like he's and not. And he's still connected. Yeah. So and this tag, suppose... and people are connecting a little bit with Cesaro and Kid, just because of how talent they are. They're using their talent in ring to grab to pull the fans in, and to me, they've been very impressive. Okay, would you agree on this? New Day needs a new gimmick. Yes, <laughs> they need to drop this because it's really quite bland. I think. Kofi should go back to being a singles wrestler. I'd love to see him in a bigger title picture. You know, they really mishandled him that one feud he had with Randy Orton, and it really looked like Kofi was going to actually contend for Randy Orton's title at the time, which was really exciting. You know, they could have had a really good match together, but I think WWE killed that momentum. And like I already said, Xavier Woods and Big E, like, They've either never connected or fallen off. Biggie had a little bit of fight after he broke off with Ziggler, and then he won the Intercontinental title. But yeah, at, after that, there's really been nothing. And Xavier Woods, the guy has a doctorate. Like that's cool. Like I can get behind that. He's super smart and college educated. That's cool. So if the WWE doesn't work out for him, he has other options. Yeah, yeah. I think he's literally has a what was it? Going for like a PhD. A, yeah, wow. Like psychology. Wow, or that's amazing. Or, that's awesome. I mean, I'm a, I'm a grad student in mental health, so, <laughs> you know. I just want to see Natalia. That's a bad you know what? Maybe you could be the next doctor, whatever his name was, for uh, Kane Dr. and Sheldon. Daniel Bryan. Uh, <laughs> a- anytime they have some kind of therapist skit on WWE, I'm always, like, glued to the TV because I'm <laughs> always I'm analyzing what they're doing, like, uh, that image association thing with Dean Ambrose. That's serious, the, yeah. It was funny, but, like, there's really no therapy like that out oh, there. Okay. Like, I so it's kind spent, of like a myth. They made it up. Like, they took, they took like, the Rorschach ink block and made it into, like, pictures and word association. So they kind of made up their own form of therapy, I guess. But it was still really funny. Yeah. <coughs> but, All yeah, right. The match, though. Yeah, who do you got so, winning? Uh, uh, who do you predict? Tyson Kidd and Cesaro, hopefully. Same. I agree. Why, yeah. why have them drop the titles when they finally have something? Especially for Cesaro. <clears throat> I mean, he, he hasn't had much He's lately. had a long road so. to getting up. There. Yeah, it makes the most sense for Tyson Kidd and Cesaro to retain. Plus, I think Jimmy's kind of hurt, so... Yeah, one of the Usos... They're, they're not going to give it to them if one of the guys isn't 100%. Yeah. I, it'll probably be Cesaro and Kid. I would be very disappointed if it was anyone else. Like, I guess it'd be interesting if Matadors won because it'd be very out of their out of left field. Like, oh my god, what? That would be so random. Yeah, but it should be Cesaro and Kid in my opinion. No, nope. so. but I will say this: I do like Matadors' music. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Apparently we have our own music right. jukebox. <laughs> yeah. The next match. Hey, check me out on my other channel. You know, I'm a jukebox. The next match. <laughs> next match. Yeah. Keep it on topic. The jukebox match. The Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Yeah, they're actually starting this match on the pre-show as well. As it should be. Probably to have time constraints, which we'll probably like start on the pre-show and then continue on the main card. But. I don't know, I just thought they should have just had it on the main card, but I had it on the pre-show, and they already got so much going on. I, I'm i going to flip. I'm going to say, put this on the pre-show, and then put the tag match on the main show, because the tag match actually has some value to it, and it's actually being fought for something of value. That's true. Like all No disrespect to Andre the Giant. But there, there is no disrespect, because, hey, this is very new concept and honestly they've been doing these battle royales for a while now now they're just giving it like a name now they're giving it a thing but they have a big trophy too so 
And they broke the last one, so it shows you how much they really care about it. It's that is a replica. But they need to change this and make it interesting, like, make it for the title, make it, like, number one contender, or, like, you get a future shot at the title or something. Yeah. Need to make it more interesting, because, honestly, I could care less for this match. If they had a stipulation like that, that would be... So awesome. That would be. I that would, would be a lot more exciting. I'd be behind the match more so if it had. Yeah, who do we like? Who do we like that's in the match? Ms. Dow. Definitely yeah. Ms. Dow. Zack Ryder. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's always hope, I suppose. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go probably Ms. Dow at this point. There's really... He's going to get a huge pop if he wins. Oh, Even though this match doesn't really matter, at least it's something for him. Ms. Dow might make it matter, though. True. <laughs> yeah. A little bit, anyways. <laughs> who else would you like to see win it? I'm not sure who else is in it. <laughs> who else is in it? That Big Show, Curtis Axel. <laughs> oh, Axel? That would be kind of interesting no. if Axel won. How no. about no? no. Axel Why not? Axel Media. People Just are stop. getting behind this guy. <laughs> no. Just stop. That's oh awesome. Put the guy they have the tried movie. really, really hard with the guy pr- promoting him because of his dad. They've given That's, him chances after chances. He just hasn't connected. No, he he he's a decent wrestler at best. He really shined in the little makeshift nexus that they made. But outside of that, he had a little bit of success with Ryback as the tag team. Ryback, right yeah. yeah. Other than that, he's been a dud. I don't care for Curtis Axel. Like his father was phenomenal. His grandfather was phenomenal. Absolutely. He just doesn't no have disrespect, it. but he has a lot to live up to. True. And it's not that he hasn't. It's just there's nothing that connects him to us. No. It feels like so they either need to find him something. A new gimmick, or a tag team, or a group, or just something. Go by, his, go by his real family name. Go by Joe Hennon. But the thing is, is that a lot of fans were getting behind him, though. They're, I, with the Axelmania thing. It's going to slide. And they're doing it as a joke. Like, they're not legit. I don't think they're legit behind it. Like, ha-ha. Like, this is, you know, a goof gimmick we can get behind for two seconds. I honestly don't care for it. Me, personally. I don't... I, I guess maybe it's because I never was a fan of his. Cause I don't think he was very good, but I, I would be shocked if they let him win the battle. Is uh, Ryback in it? Yes, he's also All right. in it. So he's a possibility, too. I'm, I'm rooting for right. Ryback. I know you're not, but I'm rooting for <laughs> <laughs> If I've made it clear in any video, I don't ever pull for Ryback. Unless if he's Ryback of rules. Feed me more. I'm rooting for Ryback. Curtis Axel or Ms. Dow, but I hope Ms. Dow wins the most. Uh, I think Ms. Dow is going to win. I'd, I'd like to see Ms. Dow, but I can make a case for the Miz, too, at the same time. Oh, the Miz, possibly. Just because you have that connection with Ms. Dow. I'm sure Ms. Dow and Miz will come down to the last two, and Miz will be like, you're my assistant. Jump over the top rope. And <laughs> yeah, no. Either Ms. Dow does it, or Ms. Dow's like, I'm sick and tired of your crap. Yeah, so, uh, okay, that would be awesome. Who do you think wins, Tim? Uh, Zachary. <laughs> okay. And who do you say, <laughs> Jess? Um, I'm rooting for Ms. Dow. Ms. Dow. Right. He's Ms. so Dow. great. <laughs> Definitely Ms. Dow. So Next great. match, we have the Intercontinental Title Match. And oh I think this God, match yes. is going to steal the show because yes. there's so many interesting aspects to it. Yes. We have Daniel Bryan versus Stardust versus... Dolph Ziggler versus Luke Harper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Versus the Lunatic Fringe, Dean Ambrose. Versus our honesty, I mean truth. Versus Good News Barrett, I mean Bad News Barrett. Okay. Bad joke out. Strikes again. (laughs) So, I think this match is going to be great. What do you guys think? (laughs) Yeah, I agree with you. This is going to be probably the best match of the night. I mean... Just look at who's in this match. How can this They're not be? They're all showstoppers, how? and they all deserve this time. Yeah, and how can it not be good? Like, I can't think of a, a match in the past, like, year that had multiple people like this that I'm really super excited for. Like, it's a ladder match, so right there, 
is great because ladder matches are usually very fun and very well done. But now you got people that really know how to wrestle. You have people that can kind of work the do the high flying stuff. They can do some of the high flying or the high spots. I mean, can you yeah. can you imagine Daniel Bryan doing his dive off the the his headbutt off the top of the ladder or that would be amazing or like uh to, off the ladder zigzag from Dolph Ziggler. I mean, it's gonna be amazing. There's endless Jeez. possibilities for yeah. this match. And, and, and it is also this type of match. It's interesting because you don't see faces go up against faces too often. And so when you see Dan O'Brien and Dolph Ziggler fight a little bit, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> it's gonna be a heartbreaker for this one. Oh my god! <laughs> it's gonna come down to those two. Yeah, most likely. I'm more likely. I'm really rooting for Dean Ambrose, despite the fact I have a Dan O'Brien shirt on. <laughs> I'll be okay with Dan O'Brien winning. I like him. Don't get me wrong. But I really want Dean Ambrose to win. But I would be okay with Daniel Bryan or Ziggler winning it. But I think Daniel Bryan needs this the most. I mean, Dean Ambrose needs this the most. Well, Daniel no, Bryan might be. <laughs> <laughs> Dean Ambrose needs this the most because he hasn't had a big, a meaningful win in such a long time. And uh, he has so much potential. I mean, a lot of these guys do, of course. But when was the last time he had a meaningful win? It's been a long time. When's the last time Daniel Bryan had a meaningful Okay. Touche. I'm Touché. always I'm always pulling for Daniel Bryan. You know me by now. I mean, but Ambrose, you can make the case for Ambrose too. I can, yeah. I can yeah. Make, well, what about Luke Harper? Who's he? <laughs> yeah. I'm kidding. Yeah, he had that. I see I'm that He's a cup of coffee, and then yeah. Boom, Luke, Luke Harper is very talented, of course. Yeah. I'm fine with Luke. But I mean, them giving him the belt. For only a couple weeks, that's better than nothing, but it kind of sucked because he didn't really have a title run. No, not at all. That was, that was more of a joke. They should have just kept it on. Hey, at least they got to follow Wyatt in the match, so I'm happy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but one thing about this is, like I said, this is the most excited I've been for an IC title match in a long time, and I this will only elevate the IC title, I can hope. I sure hope so, because these secondary titles haven't had any real exposure, and they always find a way just to make them an afterthought. I mean, even when Dean Ambrose had that U.S. title, like, he wasn't defending it, but it was Dean Ambrose, so it kind of made it more noticeable. But after that, I mean, they gave the Sheamus, he barely defended it, and then... Yeah, he lost it to Russo. Yeah, and, yeah. And actually, that's been... At first, I was iffy about it, but now it's... At least from Rusev's character standpoint, the U.S. title has done really well for him because it really elevated his character. So yeah. It did, it did. And but it made potential feuds he had a little bit more meaningful because now you have the title. In the we'll get into that in a little while. Yeah. Um, so, so who do you think wins? Daniel Bryan. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Mark? Oh, of course, even have Bryan. Even half ass, my <laughs> boy. Yo, Grand Slam champion of the modern era. Holding every belt that you Just, can hold. I think it'll be Yasselmania again. <sighs> I hope so. Again, like I said, I'll be okay with Dean O'Brien winning, but I'm rooting for Dean Ambrose, even though this is Dean O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing my Dean Ambrose shirt right now, Logic so <laughs> I'm it's, weird. It's gonna if come you want, down. I would have let you borrow my Dean Ambrose shirt. It's going to come down really to Ambrose, Daniel Bryan. And Ziggler, maybe. Oh, my it's God. Three faces? So Yo, the down internet three faces? is going to explode if that Imagine happens. that. It Imagine if Stardust won it. How random would that be? I, it would be random. I'd be cool with it. I'd be okay with it, yeah. I, I'd honestly... I I'd love his cool. music. <laughs> I'd be cool with anyone winning this in this match. Even R-Truth. Like, he's more I'd be okay like, with that. He's more of the afterthought of the match, unfortunately, because... Truth, honestly, is a really underrated... <laughs> under Truth, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the nice, day. nice, that was awesome. But no, he's actually a really good wrestler. He's had a very good career in TNA before he came back to WWE. He's, I think he was, wasn't he Monte Time TNA champion when TNA first started as NWA TNA? He was the NWA champion, he was the tag team champion with, yeah. the, with Truth and Consequences. Yes, so he's held multiple titles with TNA. You know, I'd, I'd like to see him, him get a little something. I mean, he's a, yeah. fun, he's a fun wrestler. I think people... He is funny. 
People, I like him a lot. People are like kind of down him a little bit because of the rapping and the kind of goofy gimmicks he's had. But I like those goofy gimmicks. Yeah, though. I, don't, I don't Before all that, people. though, he was U.S. He was champion. Good. He's a U.S. champion. That's, all time. that's right. He was. He was and good. We had a question about this match, right? Or we had some question. From Not about this match. Okay, that, that's for later. That's we'll, coming up later. We got some questions from our fans later, so s- stick around. Or, or one fan. <laughs> no, we have more than one fan. But we love you. <laughs> Thank you. We love you guys so much. Okay. Anyway, so, moving on. Next match is. Hold on. One of my. The Divas match. Yes. Between. AJ, Paige, Brie Bella, and Nikki Bella. Now, are the titles on the line or not? No. Why? No. Because it's a tag team. It's WrestleMania. It's a tag team. It's a tag team match. But it's WrestleMania. Yeah, no kidding. That's why it should be a fatal four way. Yeah, they should have had that. Then the Would bones. be more interesting. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm interested because have AJ and Paige tagged up since Paige has come up in the WWE? Like, I think they've always gone against each other they've typically and then gone portrayed against each other. like a friendship. They're frenemies. Yeah, and <laughs> I think it's gonna be an interesting one. Yeah, um, it'll, it'll be interesting seeing these two who are like the two most The anti divas who are going against the, the divas. foremost Typical divas, divas versus the prom queens. Yeah. Pretty, pretty much. much. Pretty yeah. Much. The the girls that you actually like versus the person ones, you know. Because the Bellas seem to be all about showmanship and showing off and just a lot of parading around not to downplay their talent. I think it's horribly misused. Yeah, exactly. I think they have a lot of raw ability. It's just not really... Exactly. They should give Divas a chance. Yeah. Well, when they get two minutes and of TV that's time, they should win because she stood up against Stephanie and it was awesome. Yeah. That. Who did? AJ. AJ stood oh, up yeah. against Stephanie. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, they're all very talented, but AJ and Paige by far are the most talented. Should have this Lord. match by far. <laughs> but you know something? I wish Natalia was in a match like this too. She? Maybe in the future. Again, yeah, I, I mean, so. she'll be in the title spot. I'm sure at some point she'll be back in it. I'd love to actually see somewhere down the line, as long as Kid and Cesaro are still tag champions, I'd love to see her with the Divas title. That'd be so awesome. They could have, you know, they could be kind of like a power team. Right but there. the thing is, is that even though Age, Age, <laughs> AJ and Paige, I did it again. <laughs> hey, combine them. Uh, <laughs> that'd be a pretty cool tag team, though. Age, like Ryan Baxel or KJ. <laughs> okay, so what I'm saying is, even though they're very talented, it's hard to get invested in the Divas when they have two minutes of TV time. Now, I realize it's not their fault, obviously, but how can I get invested in their matches when we they're hardly on TV? They they can be, but again, the company misuses them. They do, badly. Um, Give Divas a chance, WWE. I know you will never watch this video, but I'm telling you, the fans, to tell WWE... There's so much good Give talent a in the Divas it's really, division. It's definitely crazy from last year's WrestleMania when they had every single Diva on the roster was going after the title. And to now, it's like, okay, it's a tag team match. I would have wanted to see the title on the line. Exactly. Uh, Why not make it a ladder match? Divas on well, ladders? I don't know. Have they ever? No, I don't, I don't uh, not, maybe not necessarily a ladder match. match but WWE. I know TNA's had some more, like, extreme matches with their female wrestlers. We don't talk about TNA. Yeah. Uh, or Braun Tierney's match. match. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like, it just shows that WWE cares more about, like, the reality TV Pretty much. And, you know, what wrestler can get the most hype in Hollywood. And, and that's how like they've that. transformed over the years from a federation to an entertainment company. Pretty much. Yeah. So this is just a reflection of that. As far as the match, though, I'd love to see AJ and Paige get the win. Me too. You know, they of course, have, they hands down. Three. They, right. they don't have to, you know, like, get along the whole match or even after the match, and maybe they could do I think there's going to be some... Confrontation? Something going on between Paige and yeah, AJ. That, Probably. that but, makes them lose the match. Some distraction or something. Can possibly. this might be the Bella's last WrestleMania because they're looking to retire? 
right, good so. point. That's why I think Paige and AJ are going to pull through no. with the win. I so. hope so. I'm rooting for Paige and AJ, hands down. Or up. Uh, up. Hands down. Uh, no up, uh, down. I don't know what my anyway, up my downs. Next match is... <laughs> okay. Rusev Machka, Rusev Crush, against the C Nation, John Cena. Oh my Russian God. Federation. The face of the WWE. The Federation versus the Nation. I think that's what they're calling you know, it or something. I really hope John Cena is <laughs> the face of the WWE for another decade. I mean, how how more exciting can this guy be? This guy's been super exciting for the past ten years. Are you He's serious? Not only really going to be. I have a question for you guys. The future is just going to be bright for this guy, and he deserves to be at the top for the next ten years because WWE knows what they're doing to draw in all the maximize their fan base, and they're so intelligent to have this guy at, at top. He deserves to be at top. And if he doesn't win this match, I'm stop watching the WWE. <laughs> this guy can't hasn't won in so long. He deserves another freaking win. And that's okay. why they call it ring rants. <laughs> that's and, Ran now, over. and that was Alex's impression of John Cena fans. Just so you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're a John Cena fan and you're watching this video, we appreciate the support. No, we don't go. We don't want John Cena fans. No. I mean, seriously. <laughs> we love you all. If he loses, I'm stop watching. I'm I'm not watching anymore. He he has to win. Can I ask you guys a question? Yeah. Do you think this is the opportune time for Rollins to cash in? I do, but he's going to cash in at the most likely. Likely, if he does cash in, it will be at the heavyweight title match. You don't think it's going to be against Cena? No, this most is, likely this not. This is the U.S. title, so it's possible but unlikely. Yeah, no, the <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about. It. He could, but you no. could cash in on a U.S. title, no, could you? That's no, no, edit that part out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll just it's all right. No. <laughs> Live blooper. It's okay. But seriously, though, John Cena, this guy has to win. He needs to stay on top. I'm pissed that he's not in the world heavyweight title. What is the WWE thinking? Seriously. This is Alex's specific rant. Yeah. <laughs> he's been my favorite wrestler one. for the past 10 years. He's going to be my favorite wrestler for the next 10 years. The WWE, if they do something different, I'm, I'm done. They, they, they got to st stay the course. Hey, Alex, guess what? What? You're shaking the camera. Oh, wow, I broke my own rule. I'm, I'm just really pissed that Cena isn't tell? at the heavyweight title can guys, picture. Can you guys tell that he's angry? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I like this match because I like Rusev. Probably like the only one. Okay, you like from like two minutes ago like you know, up until now has been blooper. Because I sometimes speak in a Russian accent. <laughs> Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Rusev Mutska, Rusev Crush. You know, he's like our modern day Nikolai Volkov. I mean, come on. I like Rusev. I like the character. Yeah. I like Lana. I like what she brings to the character. I, I think it's great. I don't like the whole USA Russia storyline because it keeps going on and on and on. <laughs> but. Cena has this never give up mentality all the time. Never give up, that's right. But this is the time where who knows if if Cena actually taps out to He the better end. die. Like, if, he, I riot if he taps out. Like the one time For Cena our taps ring out portion where he actually of gets broken. <laughs> you know. I think that would be crazy. Yeah, you always see Cena tapping people out, but you never see him tap out. He never gives up. That's damn right. Yeah, I, I'm gonna rain on the parade a little bit. Hey, this match sucks. Like, I'm sorry, I don't care. Sucks? What are you talking about? Has the face of the WWE <laughs> in this match? The best wrestler not, of all time. It's that's the best. only redeeming quality about it. Other than that, it's a it's a good face versus heel thing. But honestly, I don't care too much, because honestly, it's going to be John Cena winning, it's going to be just Damn right. the same old stuff, <laughs> you know. Same old yeah. stuff? What are you talking about? This same old stuff's been legendary. It's it that, it's just helps her rating so much. Said every 12-year-old John Cena fan ever. He's I'm not, not 12, 12 I'm 13. He's okay. not 12. <laughs> Close enough. No. But no, this, it should be Rusev being Cena. It That's, makes more sense. In an ideal sense. world... 
It should be Rusev winning. Someone would change it up and be seen. It would yeah. totally put him over the top. It really would. In a big way. Cena needs to put over the top. Come on! This guy he needs to push. He still needs it in this point in his career. You know? No. It's just, he's got The WWE to prove. hasn't pushed Cena in two months. Come on now. Stop. I've been waiting for months, so he long. He hasn't a new shirt. <laughs> exactly. He deserves a new shirt every week. He's the face of the company. No, That's an exhausting habit. Yeah, like, it would be something if Cena won, and then all of a sudden, you know, it gets all patriotic, and the American flag finally drops. Like, That'd be... And I'm going to cry if that happens, out of happiness. But then I'd be like, Cena, you don't really need that title. I would be more... Cena could be like, I I just did this for America, but I don't really need this title. I'm going to surrender it. What are you talking about? And, he needs this title badly. And I want other people to, to contend for it. I just I just wanted to get it off for his stuff, so whoever wants to go for it, go for it. And, right. and they have a big tournament or something. As nice as that would be, you know, it's not happening. Because if Cena does win, they're going to run with that title with him. Just because he's obviously their biggest name. Obviously, it would bring something more to that title. And it just wouldn't make much sense to make it go to someone else so quickly. Would they bring the spinner out of retirement? You don't need to bring the spinner. They retired. Yeah, they, they, cool. they retired. They should bring the hardcore title back. <laughs> that you have agreement with. I like I then title. If that's the case, if Cena wins then if, and if Daniel Bryan wins, I'd like to see Daniel Bryan as Intercontinental Champion and John Cena as U.S. Champion. That's how they unify head head. Them. And then they that's unify That's how they unify them. Oh, I'm all about that. Okay. In all seriousness, Let's go, go with John Cena. <laughs> yeah, it's Cena. The one time where he actually <laughs> finds a fault, and that sucks to say. In all seriousness, if you could tell, I was being very sarcastic. <laughs> you <laughs> suck with it very well. I was very don't like Cena. Don't like Russo. Pinch you. <laughs> don't like the storyline. Don't care for it. It's time for my pee break or snack break for I this like match. I like Cena as a person, but his character needs to change. Exactly. He'll turn. <laughs> it's yeah, not going to happen. Never going to happen. The Cena, <laughs> the Cena side in Russia, like, the Cena becomes Russian. <laughs> Despite the fact that I don't like Rusev, I'm actually rooting for him in a way, and it sucks that Lana's not going to be there. She might be there. I know she's shooting a movie with Edge. But she might be there. Hopefully, I would think they'd bring her back for Mania. You would, would hope hopefully. So. I mean, that'd be stupid if they don't. For his first, you know, couple months, she was pretty much what got him over. Like, before we started seeing more of the monster Rusev, we started... It was Lana was his mouthpiece, and... That, that fly distracted me now. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Anyways, sorry. <laughs> no. Um, as, far, as far as this match, I want Rusev to win, because it would make more sense wrestling-wise to put him over in the biggest way possible. I mean, what what better way than beating John Cena at WrestleMania and just kind of solidifying yourself as a pretty big time wrestler? He could transition into maybe feuding for the WWE title one day. This could be a perfect segue for him to do that. Yeah. But knowing WWE and their habits, they like to fall back on the same people all the time. So I'm not shocked if John Cena wins. So, it's really kind of a coin flip. I would rather see Rusev, but I don't put it past WWE to give it to Cena. But they have done a lot of surprising things. Alright, so, predictions. Who do you say is winning this match? Cena. Cena. Look at how excited we are to say that. Yeah, I'm gonna say probably Cena. I'll say... Mr. Mr. Fake Cena fan? <laughs> Cena better to win this match, but I think Rusev's going to win. That'd be awesome. It'd be a surprise. And, a, and, a, and with a tap out, I like to see Cena tap out. I okay. I don't care. Just lose. <laughs> but <laughs> in all honesty, I really don't care for this match. Next match. <laughs> Sting versus Triple H. Oh. So excited. That's okay, I'm awesome. more excited about this match from a storyline standpoint than I am from a wrestling standpoint. Now, the match itself could be somewhat exciting. I'm sure it will be. But from a storyline standpoint, it's more exciting in my opinion. What do you guys think? This match is going to be great because I, 
I'm a huge Sting fan. I've always been a Sting fan growing up. So it's going to be awesome seeing him. After 14 years, the franchise of, of WCW, finally in the WWE, it's just amazing. It couldn't be at a better time. And he's going against Triple H, which is, you know, the franchise of WWE. The authority. From the Attitude Era. And now it's the Monday Night Wars, you know, reborn in a way, but in a modern era. I but, give credit to WWE. They built this up really, really well on Raw with Stephanie coming out, trash-talking Sting. And then, yeah, Sting coming out and kind of like... What's up? You know, she tried to slap him. Nope. <laughs> That's one of the few things, <laughs> for the most part, the build to this WrestleMania has sucked, but this is one of the few things where the build-up actually has been pretty decent. Yeah. For this match, the build has been good because it's been woven through different storylines with the Authority versus Cena and everyone. So I like that aspect of it. And then just... Sting is his own build-up because of how historic this is. So really, WWE didn't need to really work hard at building this match. No. It but, did it itself. Yeah, it did it itself. It was more so organically. Yeah. But my thing with this match is we haven't seen Sting wrestle in a while. It's been a little bit. I mean, when did he leave TNA? Wasn't it at least a year or two ago? If I'm, if I'm remembering clearly his last match... Or yeah, he his was, last involvement yeah, he was, was about there, a year or two ago. He was there for a little while, and then he went to the Hall of Fame. and That's why, they, like, when they were saying, oh, Sting hasn't been in the ring for so long, it's like, no. Nah. He was in TNA, but they don't mention that. But right, he, yeah. He, he was always constantly wrestling, because he was a mainstay in, in TNA. So. Yeah. so, but it has been some time, so I do worry about some kind of ring rust for him. And with Triple H... It's been about a year since Last he's year been, yeah. He had his match with Daniel Bryan, which he did well with. And then he was, had a couple matches with Evolution. Yeah, that's right. That's just best. So. Yeah, I almost forgot about that. but um, That's why he keep me around. <laughs> and plus, Sting just turned 56, so who knows how well he'll do in the ring. Yeah, like th- that's the concern for me, is his match hype is hype so high. But then the match is a dud. Like, all, other than the fact that it's Sting. Like, if you're not someone who grew up on Sting, like me, I didn't watch WCW. I didn't really watch too much of TNA. So I know the historical content or context of this, but to me it was like, okay, he came out on a WWE pay-per-view, he came out on Raw, now he's at WrestleMania, that's it for me. Like, that's the extent to my excitement. Now, if he puts on a good match and he shows up a little bit more, then I'll probably be a little bit more jacked up. But right now, I want to see the match and hope it's good and then just move on to the next match because for me, again, my fandom, I was pretty much pure WWF back in the day. I did watch some ECW, but I hated WCW. I thought it sucked. And I came in as a wrestling fan when WCW was starting to go downhill a little bit. So I guess maybe that's why I had that perception of WWE, I know, or WCW. I know they had a really good history, but yeah. when I came in, WCW was terrible. Outside of, oh man, like Gregory Holmes, you know, Shane, or Shane Holmes, he became Gregory Holmes in the WWE. And, like, Lance Storm. Like, I love Lance Storm. <clears throat> but other than that, yeah, I hope it's a good match. Like, that, that's all I gotta say. I'm excited. I'm a big Sting guy, so this match is it's just years in the making. Yeah. Something to that. I can get that. And that after Sting wins, and, you know, after Undertaker beats Bray Wyatt, maybe, then you see Undertaker and Sting come face-to-face. That would be that, epic. That no. night. That's the dream match because you got two guys that would match wrestling style wise and it would and just iconic wrestlers of their time. Yeah, it would actually make sense in my opinion if they had Sting win because yeah. then that could just set it up for the next WrestleMania. I don't think after this match, I don't think 
Sting may make some appearances here and there, but he's not going to really wrestle until next year, most likely. Yeah, yeah. And that's kind like, of... He'll be like a one-year type though. of thing, like The Undertaker. Yeah, but isn't that more disappointing, though? Because there's all this hype behind him and all this craze about him finally being WWE, and then we get him for WrestleMania, and that's it. Like, that, to, yeah. me, that, to me, that would be a letdown. Like, I get it that Undertaker's at the point where he's at such an age, he can't really keep up with a full-time or even a very minimum part-time schedule. He only comes around for WrestleMania. What's he's, year, like he's, Santa Claus? He's that special attraction. So I get that with Undertaker, but Sting, it was only a year or two ago that he was wrestling almost full-time. So yeah, he, was Haru, he was wrestling like every week. Yeah, so... I, it's only a couple of years removed, so... And he's still in good shape, so... So why not have him there constantly? You there's would, a lot of people that want to face him, too, so... It would do wonders ratings-wise. It would do wonders ticket sales-wise. If you can promote Sting at your next Raw, don't even bother with SmackDown. Okay. SmackDown's terrible. But, but on Raw, he'd be a crazy attraction. Think of, like, the yeah. creepy factor between him and Bray Wyatt. That'd be so cool. Or, like, that's a great well, that oh, that'd be, really be so cool. cool. Think about it this way, though. If Sting is healthy, I still don't see him being there every Monday Night Raw. Now, he may be there sometimes. He could potentially be there sometimes. But even if he's not there sometimes, it... In a way, obviously, of course, like you said, I agree about the ratings. If he's there, he's going to increase the ratings. Yeah. But at the same time, sometimes when a wrestler isn't there for such a, such a period of time and then they make an appearance, that, that's yeah. special. Yeah, that's true, too. But this is a guy who's kind of widely accepted as a fan favorite and widely accepted as... Very popular and widely liked. Yeah. So, I can see your argument, but I'll throw Brock Lesnar at you. He hasn't helped them. To me... Yes, a little bit in the ratings. I haven't seen it. Everything I've seen, he, there's really been no difference. Maybe a slight bump up or down, but other than that, he's done nothing for them. I don't see people who were former UFC fans that watched him in the UFC all of a sudden wanting to watch WrestleMania. It was the argument that WWE put out for The Rock. Like, he'll get all these Hollywood people that knew him in Hollywood to order WrestleMania and watch him wrestle John Cena. No, they didn't. No mm -hmm. one outside of wrestling fans orders WrestleMania or orders a wrestling product. So they're trying to, they're trying to grab these general segments of the market, but I it's, think it's not working because wrestling in itself is a niche product. It is, but I think WrestleMania, even though it is, it is a niche, I think WrestleMania is the most mainstream event that they have because if you ask anyone who doesn't follow wrestling, I'm not going to say anyone, but a lot of people, they know, they've know they heard of WrestleMania and they they've know what WrestleMania it, is. How likely are they to order Unlikely, but what I'm saying is it's the most mainstream main event that they have, in my opinion. That yeah, and the Rumble. That's that's fine. I'll, I'll give them that. Most people who know of wrestling, maybe not aren't fans of it, do know WrestleMania, do know that it's their kind of Super Bowl. But at the same time, if you're WWE actively trying to grab that fan, it's not working. It's still your typical wrestling fans. And now with the network your numbers are going to be a little bit more inflated towards the network, so you're not going to make the money from the new people. There's no one that's not already a wrestling fan that's going to order the network for WrestleMania. This is a product for a wrestling fan. Well, unless if maybe in other countries possibly, because some countries may not have a network just yet, or they may have just got the network. A lot do, and yeah, there are some that just... So got, like, in Canada, internationally... England. They s still may have some fans yeah. ordering the network for yeah. it. And that's fine, but a as just the general f you know, fan population of now, you're, WWE is trying to bring in more of the non-wrestling fans, and it, ha it hasn't worked, and they've tried The Rock. They've tried Brock Lesnar. 
I don't know who else you have to try from, but it's not working. So they either need to drop the strategy altogether or just or find a new person. I don't know who that would be. But. Start getting all these part-timers and, and spend so much money on them and start pushing the younger talent. That's what you got to do. Exactly. That, you, they got to push the younger talent. No, that, that's where I'm coming from. <laughs> that's why NXT is the number one product right now. All right. <laughs> it is. So... Who do you think's going to win, and who do you want to win? The Icon Sting. I think it would make the most sense to stick for Sting to win. I can see an argument for Triple H winning because he's Triple H, but I think you give it to Sting just because I think that creates a little bit more buzz in the wrestling, you know, in the WWE universe, and then wrestling fans all together. And then keep the feud going too afterwards. Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't. If the match is good, I won't mind seeing it a few more times. But if it's bad, if it's really drawn out, and I'm just waiting for it to get over and done with, I don't want to see it. Let's put it this way: I think if Sting, like you said, if Sting does well and if he looks like he's in good shape, then I could see him being on Raw. Maybe not every single Raw, but some Raws at least. He should be on a good amount of it because he kept a pretty tight. TNA schedule. But the thing is, is this, Triple H, he doesn't wrestle too often, so I don't see them keeping the feud going too long if they do keep the feud going. Right, yeah. It would probably be maybe one or two more matches. So, I think, I, I want Sting to win, but I have a feeling that Triple H is going to win. Like I said, I can, I can see both sides. Just to, you know... Keep the feud going. Yeah, they could still have the feud if Sting wins, but I think it would be more logical if they wanted to, to keep the feud going to have Triple H win. Yeah, and then it makes Sting try that much harder to get, you know, to Triple H. So how much of a letdown do you think it will be if Sting loses? I think there'll be a lot of people that are disappointed. You yeah, know, a lot so. of people have such high hopes for Sting that if he loses, there would be some, you know, animosity, but at the same time... It, I think it'd be interesting if he lost, just because it gives that savior, that, you know, the vigilante, another chance to redeem himself, so. All right, what do you say, Jess? With everything you guys have said, I think it's a coin flip. I think either one can pull out with the win, so. Okay. If you had to put put it down, though, what do you say? If you had to bet our uh, ring rants dollars that we make every <laughs> single month. <laughs> I don't know. There's just more of an active role that Triple H has, more of a presence. But I do think there's a large fan base of Sting fans. You know, he got a pretty big pop on Raw. He, he did. Like, there's no disputing that. So, I don't know. I would like to see Sting. Yes. Just for a change-up. Sledgehammer versus the bat. The bat. And the bat is going to hit that change-up. As he just said, for a home run, and He's because baseball season's coming up, maybe Sting is going to win since baseball season's coming up, and he has a baseball bat. So that's an argument. That's a correlation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Man, so next Seth match: Seth Rollins <laughs> versus Randy Orton. Yo. Oh boy! Yo, straight up, oh. Seth Rollins all the way for this. No. One. Oh, here we go. Shut up. Here we go. Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins is this. the man. Straight up. Because he was so impressive at the Rumble, and honestly, he just keep him going. Like, Randy Orton got to him. We got to see Randy Orton kick the crap out of him. And so, that's going to continue. <laughs> so, my argument would be, well, we saw that, so now let's give the bad guy his moment and Against have him. another bad guy? Well, Randy Orton's not a bad guy. Yeah, he's a face. Okay. He's, yeah, he's a, he's a face, but he's like, he's the all stone cold face where he does all this heel type stuff, but he's cheered. So, but I think Rollins just needs to keep going. This is the guy they're trying to get behind. So keep it going. Have him beat Randy Orton one on one. I hope there's no J and J security. I hope there's no Kane. I hope there's no Big Show. I just want to see these two wrestle a great match. And it's gonna yeah. be a good match. I don't want to see no outside interference. It's gonna be a lot of 
Tacticality. Is that a word? Yeah. <laughs> no, okay, well, why not? <laughs> Technicality. Yeah, it is. Ta- Techni- technical tactic- wrestling. Tactical wrestling. There uh, you go. Seth Rollins, he's the undisputed future of the WWE. I like Orin, but I would really like to see Rollins win because... What? I'm one out of form. <laughs> he, needs, he needs this, in my opinion. Look, When you look at the Rumble... He was the man at the Rumble. Yeah, he lost at the Rumble, but still, I mean, he put on he a hell was, of a show. He was that match. Like he the, was the Cena match. Cena held his own pretty well. Lesnar sucked. Uh, I'll still argue that till the <laughs> end of time. He sucked in that match. All he did was F fives, F fives cool. Germans. You That's just hit the keyboard F five, and then know. just get off from, I can F5. Up, from a miracle. You know, miraculously getting up, oh, yeah, even though he went through an system. announcer's <laughs> table, and then a broken rib, quote unquote, to win the match, like stupid. But that match was Seth Rollins. It was. That yeah. was his moment, and that needs to continue if WWE knows, you know, what's best. But, they don't. like Tim said, I hope Rollins wins cleanly, no interference. Make this guy look strong. Come on. It would be nice for them to give him just a clean win just because it will make him a little bit more legitimate in the eyes of the fans. So instead of saying, oh, he always needs his, you know, backup. his backup to win, well, if he pulls up a win against Randy Orton, who's a big-time wrestler, now the fans are going to be like, well, he's kind of formidable. So now whenever he rest, wrestles someone in the future, in the back of their minds, they'll be like, well, now I know Seth Rollins can win even without help. So, so predictions across the board, Rollins. 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 Who do you and pick? Orin. Oh, we got an Orin. Rollin Orin. Hey, that's why. And I, three, three Rollins I, and I Orin. could see Orin, too, just because he just came back. Exactly. And, that's the logic I was going to use. No. And Rollins has a lot to prove. A lot more writing for him if he won. No. Yeah. I would like to see him win. I would. Give him enough time later in that night, cash in. That would be one but hell of a night for Rollins. It's going to be a really good watch, as long as it's not some, you know, cop out for either one. Yeah, as long as we don't get, like, a stupid DQ or something like that. Alright, so, we got... <laughs> she disappeared. Whoa! There's... We're down to three. Uh-oh. I can count. Wait, one, Yeah, three. Whoops. Uh, okay, so, next match. The Phenom! Undertaker! Say in your voice. What? Which voice? The Undert- Undertaker's voice. Undertaker's voice. Oh, yeah. Undertaker. You, you get this one. Timmy Taker. The Undertaker. Versus. Bray Wyatt, the new face of Fia. Who do you want to win, Timmy? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you say that for a bit here. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. This one's tough. I mean, I like them both so, so much. And it would be nice... To, after Undertaker lost at WrestleMania 31, it was kind of a shock to us all. And that fact that we haven't seen him since WrestleMania. The fact that he's coming back at WrestleMania the night of. We haven't seen him at all. We haven't seen him at all, you know, at, at Raw or SmackDown. Nothing. You know, Bray Wyatt's been cutting all the promos and everything. And doing most of the work. So to see the Undertaker come back and go against Bray Wyatt, oh my god. Oh, epic. Man. Epic. OMG. <laughs> and, I mean, either way, I win because I like them both. <laughs> so, Balls. He's in the match. He wins. Yeah, I mean, I... <laughs> Triple time. Part of, me wants, part of me wants to see <laughs> The Undertaker rebound from, you know, the, the streak being broken, but just to get a win and say, hey, you know, I'm stronger and better than ever. You know. But then again, part of me wants to see Bray Wyatt win and come... And take the reins and become the new face of fear, like he's saying, become that new type of Undertaker character. He, he's pretty much got it down to he's a science. Creepy. You know, he, he's got, minus the motorcycle. He's got the entrance, <laughs> the entrance alone. He's got the mic skills. Timmy's conflicted. Minus the motorcycle. So and the know. hair. Ponytail. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be something, and it's gonna be another really good match. Before right. we talk more about this match. 
check out his imitations of Undertaker and Bray Wyatt. They're awesome. They're Those hilarious. Are imitations. I don't know who that guy is. Oh, That's actually, no, we don't know who that guy is. Scratch that. He's no, just have... some stranger that we filmed in that, our basement. That, that's not me. <laughs> We that's feed him cheese, slices of cheese occasionally. You know. Some some guy. We give him a water bowl. Some guy, Timmy Wyatt, Timmy Taker, <laughs> they seem to be related to The Undertaker and Bray Wyatt. Somehow. We are no Somehow. We have no and idea. They said that they were going to follow buzzards and rest in peace at the same time. <laughs> They said, that that they, were gonna, they said they were going to join forces. Rest and, in and I was there at the family reunion. And, Final um, piece. Yeah, I. I don't know, because they're family to me. I mean, the that would be one hell of a family reunion. And check out the family reunion video coming to YouTube near you. Near you. Yeah, so we can follow buzzards in. I'm, look, I'm look really looking forward to that family reunion video. Yeah. As much as I am looking forward to the Bray Wyatt vs. Taker match. That's going to be epic. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. And I think since Undertaker got his loss last year... First of all, I think it would make more sense to have Bray Wyatt win, as much as I love The Undertaker and he's a legend and all. But, I mean, imagine that. Pushing, pushing Bray Wyatt. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Him beating The Undertaker. Yeah. But then again, like you said, maybe the WWE will have The Undertaker rebound. But yeah. I'm rooting for Bray just because he's a younger talent. I'd like to see him win. Yeah. These guys are just gushing about this match. I'm both about, I'm, I like them both. And it would be a good spot in that match. You know how Bray Wyatt always does the spider walk? Yeah. See, Undertaker is laying down. Undertaker rises up while he's doing the spider walk, <laughs> turns around, gets him in the Hell's Gate submission. Oh, that'd be man. amazing. That'd be, that'd be an interesting spot. So I'm going with Bray Wyatt. Who are you going with? Bray Taker, both. <laughs> Bray Taker. Bray Taker. <laughs> I'm on. Bray Taker. One. Breaker. Pick one. Breaker. <laughs> Breaker. No, I, uh, Undertaker. I would say Undertaker. If Bray yeah. Wyatt and Taker teamed up, that would be amazing, and they could be called Breaker. <laughs> okay. Mark? Like I said, you guys are doing the gushing for this match, so you guys can be excited for it in place of me, because honestly, I think this has lacked the buildup than any other Undertaker, former Undertaker matches had. Because we haven't seen Undertaker. I feel like after the streak was broken, our, like, hope was broken <laughs> about, like, we were just so rooting for him to pull out, still keeping his streak. And then Brock Lesnar ruined it. Nah. Good point, Mark. The build-up to this kind of sucked because I can't really get excited when I hear a recording of The Undertaker's voice. Yeah. And then but the match itself could be epic, even though the build-up sucked. Yeah, it's going to be a good one, no matter what. Yeah, uh, the match... together, it's going to be good. The match will be good, because Undertaker can still hold his own as far as we know last. We can only go off on what uh, the last match we've seen of him. Although I feel like it was a huge mistake having him go up against Lesnar, because Taker ended up getting hurt because of how Lesnar wrestles. It's not yeah. the first time Brock Lesnar's hurt someone in the ring, just so people know. But yeah. as, far a as, beast. The, uh, as far as this match, at least, you know, they'll match style-wise with, like, big moves and, like, that overall presence. But back to the point of the hype behind the match, it's been all about Bray Wyatt. I get it. He's calling out The Undertaker. But it would have been nice, and I think it would have done more for the feud if you would have had Undertaker come out and at least face down Bray Wyatt. Yeah. One time. Yeah. One time. They at least gave, you know, his match with Lesnar and Punk at least a couple times face to face. I agree. Why I didn't agree. they do that now? Because I, I don't, I don't get be- it. It's going to be just for special. The last time I saw him at WrestleMania, he's coming back at WrestleMania. I, that doesn't make it that special, though, because he's not there. Like, I don't... All I hear is Bray Wyatt talk. That's I can it. see that argument. I, I, I really do agree with what you're saying. But at the same time, it adds to the mystique of them not having that face-to-face meeting until but, Mania. But isn't the mystique more that The Undertaker is The Undertaker... But then, did they not kill that mystique by having him lose to Lesnar? So now, yeah. in in our minds, <clears throat> and you know the wrestling fans' minds, we know Taker's beatable. 
we know he can be conquered, to unfortunately use a Brock Lesnar term, you know. Yeah. So the mystique of The Undertaker will only go as far as Bray Wyatt's mic skills because we have only seen Bray Wyatt. Now, if we have The Undertaker in his presence in the ring or face-to-face with Bray Wyatt, we would have a little more of that Undertaker mystique and that, you know, the phenom, you know, as as he is. I just... I'm not as excited. For you gotta give Bray Wyatt a lot of credit. He carried that whole promo for the past couple months he had by to. himself. He had, he had no choice because his WWE wasn't gonna give him his mic skills another opportunity. But think are of, amazing. But think about how great those skills would have been better showcased if he could go back face and forth face. with Taker. Exactly, I agree. Like we've seen, I agree. we've seen him do solo promos for the better part and of the year. And they've been amazing. And when, when was amazing. the last time Bray Wyatt actually wrestled in a match? It's been a while. It's been a, it's been a little <laughs> last bit. Night. He had a match last well, night. aside from SmackDown. Yeah, but. Um, but, I mean, aside from last night, it's been forever. It's been on a Raw. Bit. When was the last time you actually wrestled on Raw? It's been <laughs> a little bit, but, like I said, I think they could have done a little bit more, better job of hyping this, and that seems to be the theme of this WrestleMania, is the lack of hype, and this just goes along. I think, that. for the most part, the WWE has really gone complacent. Yeah. They're too much focused on their Divas show. I'm not saying that it's not entertaining, and... I mean, I'm not really into it, but it yeah. has its so fans. Not, not to me, but it's entertaining it's to a lot of people out there. But what I'm saying is, they're right now the WWE for the most part. They're more focused on other ventures the outside of the matches aspect instead of the wrestling itself. aspect, and yeah. that's the transition. Because when, you, when you're booking rappers as special guest stars. Well, that's always no, been a thing for Mania, though. No offense to all the rap fans out there. I'm not the biggest rap fan. But even if I was... Is it Snoop Dogg what? this year? Snoop Dogg was on this past row. Yeah. He's going to be at Mania. If I was a big rap fan, still, I wouldn't really care that much. Okay, Snoop Dogg, Wiz Khalifa's on Raw. What does it have to do with wrestling? <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. John Stewart, okay. He, he was part of the act. He was funny. I'll, I'll give a pass on that, on a couple of the people, like John Stewart and Hugh Jackman. But for, but for the most part, these guest stars, what's the point? Yeah, I don't see the point. And it's been just one stupid guest host after another, other than, you know, the Hugh Jackman and um, John Stewart. And John Stewart segments. And, and they included wrestling in their buildup of yeah. that guest host. So I... That that could be saved for another day. A little rant about that, but yeah, again, separate video. <laughs> yeah, again, this match, I'm not that hyped for it. But as far as who I think will win, it, it it's another coin flip. But I'm gonna lead towards the Undertaker because I think it helps the fans get back into him if he has a rebound match and he wins. I would personally rather Bray Wyatt win because that can kind of pass the torch That's to what him. I would like to see. It would be a nice passing of the torch, but if he's not going to go after this WrestleMania, then they ain't passing the torch. Because I want to see, I still hope to see Sting and take a face-to-face. You know, that, that would be down the line if that happens. But for this one, I think it should be Taker, just to give him, to give him the rebound. And... Say it shows the fans like, oh, he's back. He's back to form. So, yeah. and now we're missing another one. No, oh, no. <laughs> so, what do you think, Taker or Mister uh, Timmy Wise? Uh, cousin long or lost whatever. Or whatever. <laughs> as much as I love Undertaker, he's one that I grew up with. Kane in his original attire, The Rock, Stone Cold. You know, he was part of the core people that I watched, and I loved seeing him progress into this role where he had a streak going at Mania. It was just amazing. And, like, to see it kind of... St- what? I was just stretching. Go ahead. What's so funny? You guys are Alex so was, weird. Was you know. Arm around. <laughs> I was stretching. Um, but, yeah. So, as much as I love Taker, I think, unfortunately, just from seeing how much 
Bray has been promoted, so to say, I think he's going to end up winning. Unfortunately. But fortunately, because he's a really good wrestler, really good Mike Smith. I just think they need to take the next step with him. If, he, if they're going to go ahead and give him the win over Undertaker, then he needs to get away from the mic work with this like kind of occultist gimmick that he has and get to being like a wrestler to fear. And I don't know how you do that because he doesn't have that towering presence like an Undertaker or a Kane back when he had the mask and the, that whole entire... But if there's a will, there's a way that they could make him, like, that face of fear. But right now, he's the face of really good mic work, and nothing nothing really scares me about him. Another like, thing to walk. add on... What? The spider walk. <laughs> that's just cool to see. Another, that's a, that's, that is awesome. That's just cool to see. Another point I can add is this rumor about... The company bringing back his brother, and then potentially being like a tag team. Yo, Bo Dallas so comes we're out like and helps Ray like, Wyatt. That that's another nuts. reason why we cool. might see Ray win it. His real life brother. That'd yeah, be that's nutty. another. All oh, right, so who did who do you pick? I say Bray. I say Bray. Taker. Take her. He's the only Taker. Who did you so. say? Bray. Taker. All right. All right. Go two and two. Mostly, I would say Bray. Well, it's time I always say Bray, but I think we all want to. For the think respect of the Undertaker. Of course. And what do we so got next? We had the main event, event. and <laughs> I want to talk about this on a separate video. Is that cool with you guys? Sure. Okay. So follow us on Facebook. Because I really like how our Facebook page is coming along. Uh, we have 72 likes now. Keep Thank it up. You guys. Keep liking oh. us. <laughs> and we recently created a new YouTube channel called Ring Rants, as you know. Uh, so that's why you only see a few videos up on our Ring Rants channel. Because when we first started this, we uh, put up all the videos on my own personal account. Uh, follow us on at. Twitter at Ring Rants. Uh, we have 90 followers now, so I'm proud of how far we've progressed. We're still small, but... And that's all thanks to you guys. We're catching on, uh, and uh, we really appreciate it. We really appreciate the support. We love what we do. We're passionate. We love posting on Twitter and on Facebook, and uh, any of your questions, comments, suggestions are well appreciated. Your likes, your comments, your shares, and anything, really. And by the way, really. we're going to answer... Your questions in the next video. In the next video. So stay tuned for that. Again, thanks very much for all the support. Anything you guys want to add? You know, I'm, I'm ready to talk about this man event, man. Okay. Uh, I'm stay tuned for that. All right. See you soon. He's got it.